Hello and welcome to Skill of the Weight Week for mixing colors. So we're going to be taking our primary colors of yellow, red, and blue, and that is in tempera by the way, which is in the top two shelves of our paint cabinet, and we are going to mix them into our secondary colors and into our intermediate colors. So all we need is these three, and we're going to start with our Sorry, having a hard time coming out of the container. Okay, so you really only need about that much. It's probably a half dollar size. Okay, and I like to put the three different colors into three different sections of the tray. By the way, this one just flowed out really fast, so be careful of the red. And then the blue is a little thicker than the red, so. All right. So we have our red, yellow, and blue primary colors, and we're going to start with mixing one section of colors. When you start to mix your personal color wheel, you're going to start with your primaries and put those all on first, but then you'll start mixing your, your secondaries and intermediates. Okay, so when you mix, mix a secondary, that's mixing two primary colors together. So I'm going to take yellow, and I'm going to take a pretty good glob of it and put it over in another section of the tray. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of blue, not too much because blue is a super powerful color. And I'm going to mix that right into the tray. You need to make sure you're twirling your brush around. I'm going to tip this down a little bit so you can see better. Okay, you're going to twirl your brush around so that you get all of that blue and yellow mixed together. Now, notice that there was quite a bit of yellow as opposed to blue. I just touched the tip of the paintbrush into the blue to get that that color. Okay, and it's a pretty good green. I would call it a basic grass green. Okay, and then you're going to paint that on your shape. You may have to do two coats because uh, tempera tends to be a little bit streaky. Okay, but if you've got the right color mixed, you shouldn't have trouble uh, painting a second coat. Okay, so while I have that green there, I'm just going to go ahead and mix my intermediates. So if I want to have a yellow green, I can take the green that's right on my brush, wipe it off over here, because I want that yellow, to, yellow green to be really yellow green. So I'll just take another big batch of yellow, mix it over here, and you can see that there was so much blue in there that it really isn't that dark. And I want to really make sure that there's a big change between my green and my yellow green. So I'm going to take another batch of yellow and start mixing that in. Really roll the brush around, make sure there's no blue in there because it wants to seem to want to come out of the ferrule. I prefer using a round brush rather than the flat brush, but this is what I grabbed. So actually, I'm going to wipe that brush out a little bit. Try and wipe some of the paint out of the ferrule so that I can get, I'm going to go ahead and take one more batch of yellow. Notice I'm taking it from the side, not taking it right out of the center. That way I don't contaminate the whole thing of yellow because I am going to be mixing it with my red too. Okay, so that's doing a little bit better job since I wiped all that blue out. You might want to try that before jumping right into mixing your yellow-green so that you can not have such a time that I had. Okay, so there's your yellow-green. It's quite a bit lighter than the regular green. And then we can make our blue-green over here. I'm going to go right back to my basic green. I'm going to go ahead and wipe out the brush. And this time... I'm going to take a pretty good amount of blue. I'm not going to just dab it in there. And I'm going to stir that right into my green. Because I want that to be a clear-cut blue-green. You can really see that there's quite a bit more blue in there. Okay, so that was an easy one to mix. Okay, quite a bit more blue-green. It's a little bit shiny. There you go. Now you can see it. Quite a, a good change in color. Okay, so now if I need to switch colors, obviously I need to wash my brush out. So I have my little paint cup here. Normally I would, uh, 
use soap and make sure that everything is really washed out of there. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to try to clean it out as much as I can with water and just pulling it out with paper towels. And I think I did a pretty good job. Okay cleaning it out. So now we can go ahead and start with our next change. So we're going to go ahead and mix yellow and red to create our orange color. Again, it's going to be a big dollop of yellow compared to a little bit of red because that red is a super powerful color. Okay, now you can see that it's pretty light. Okay, it might be more like a yellow orange color. Okay, let's test it here. It's pretty light. Okay, that's a pretty light yeah, a light orange. That might be one that I want to use for my yellow orange. And you know, if you get one like that, you don't have to start with your secondary color. You can start with an intermediate depending on what you mix. So if I add a little bit more red, let's see what we come up with. Hmm. That shows how powerful that red is. It's already turning into what looks like it could be a red orange. Let's see what, how it looks on here. Oh, no, it's looking like a pretty good orange. We want it to be kind of like a pumpkin orange. Okay, that's pretty good. And then add another bit of red, and you'll get your red orange. And I really want to mix that in there. And that's a good red orange. It's definitely a clear-cut red orange. Now, remember, it might look on screen to be red, but that red is is really, really a deep red. This is a pretty good red orange. Let's see if that we can get a little more color on that, or a little more light. So yeah, a good red orange. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and clean that brush out again, and we'll go ahead and mix our violet colors. Okay. Hopefully I can get it all out of there. I'd really prefer, I'm going to run and get a round brush really quick. Okay, that way I got a clean brush and I know I'm going to have clean colors. Okay, so the blue and the red make violet. And since they're both really strong colors, we can take pretty much equal amounts. I'm going to make sure I have enough to go between both colors. So I took about three dabs of red, and I'll take about, let's see, let's just mix it up and see how it turns out. I took just one of the blue just to see what, what kind of color I would get. And it's really looking like a very good red-violet. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. Since I have it, and I need it, because it's an intermediate, I'm going to go ahead and paint that red-violet right on. And you can see what it looks like. Okay. Now let's see. Get enough color on that. Boy, that color sure is different on the screen. I think these fluorescent lights aren't as good. But maybe with an angle. Well, there we go. We can see that there's quite a bit of red in that, and I'll have the example in class that you can look at too. Okay, switch that around. And then I'll just add a dab more blue, and let's see if we get a regular violet. Okay, looks like it's still too red, so I'm going to get just a little bit more blue. And just to see, I'm going to test it. Well, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to make sure I get all that red mixed in from the sides. So I'm going to paint it right here. This looks like it's a really good standard violet color. Okay, now obviously you'll be painting in objects, so you're going to have to be a little more careful with how you paint. But there, you can see the change in color quite a bit, can't you, from the red violet to the just basic violet. So now with the blue violet, we need to really get a good dollop of blue in there because we want to really see the change from regular violet to blue violet. 
So I'm going to grab another dollop because I really want there to be no question at all that this is blue violet. Okay, and I'm going to paint that right there. And wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful blue violet. It almost just looks like a midnight blue because it's so deep. So deeply blue. Okay, whoops. Don't want to lose that. All right. So now you can see that's a really good example of a blue violet. It almost looks too blue, but when you see it compared to the blue, hmm, you see the blue? The color is quite a bit brighter on the blue, and you can really see the change. So let's see if we can get a little bit more light on there. So there are your secondary and intermediate colors painted for mixing colors.